morning all. Doing something a little bit different this morning. Got my coffee up here on the roof, taking in a little bit of sunrise, doing a little bit of morning reflection on the challenge today, uh, which is to stop contributing to the problem. You know, there's a lot of problems going on in this world right now. I'm looking right out over Washington, D.C., where we know there are countless problems, uh, politicians unable to get things done, seemingly intractable problems uh, going on in our world. But you know, it, it can be very intimidating, it can be very frustrating, you know, to think that we don't have any control, that we can't do anything. But today's challenge is to find little ways where we can realize maybe areas where we are contributing to the problem, areas where maybe we can make a small difference. And if we all make small differences like that, over time, you know, it becomes something more sustainable. You know, I don't even think this has got to be the big, uh, you know, big structural problems like we're talking about with government. Something I always say to myself is I'm always frustrated when these small businesses, these restaurants that look right around me go out of business. But how often am I going and frequenting this place? You know, how often am I giving them their business? That's an area that I can have an impact. That's an area where we can all have an impact. So I think the challenge this morning, you, we all have to think a little bit about the areas that we want to have an impact. Let's not be overwhelmed by the problems that we see out there. Let's try and be the solution. So that's the challenge today. Find a way to stop contributing to the problem. We're not blameless in this. You know, the, the thing we really want to resist here is apathy. Um, thinking that what we do doesn't make a difference because it does. You know, the moment we are thinking, oh, what's the harm in having in buying one more plastic water bottle because there's already so many in the world? That attitude is the one that we are trying to correct today. And it doesn't even have to be where you are necessarily actually actively contributing to the problem. Even just being aware of the problem and not doing anything about it is sometimes equally as bad. There's this rationalization that, oh, you know, if I weren't here, it could be worse. Or look at how they're behaving. This kind of, you know, the kind of what aboutism. What about others? Instead of looking introspectively at ourselves, considering this is a stoic challenge, it seems appropriate to talk about how, you know, Seneca, for all of his, you know, greatness and wisdom, you know, was part of Nero's court. And Nero was this murderous, very, you know, evil, not very nice guy emperor. Uh, and Seneca rationalized, to, you know, staying on his court as, you know, if I weren't here, there would not be somebody else to help control his work, you know, his um, more evil impulses. I'm sure we can all relate to that in some way nowadays where we think, oh, it's better that we're here, but we're not going to make a stink. We don't want to ruffle feathers. We don't want to rock the boat. But the reality is we are much more interconnected in this world, and it's no excuse to sit by and be idle. Nowadays, it's easier than ever, I think, to disengage and think that the you know the problems that we are facing as as a country, as a planet, you know, when it comes to the environment, the economy, anything that we can't make a difference. So today, it's not just stopping to contribute to the problem, but also finding ways to contribute to the common good. Zeno had a great line that I think is appropriate at this time. Well-being is realized by small steps, but it is no small thing. Let's take some small steps today. Let's get out there. Let's make a difference. Let's stop contributing to the problem. Outside, walking the dog little lunch break, reflecting a little bit on today's challenge, thinking about how I can stop contributing to the problem. Had a couple good examples come to mind already today. Uh, one has to do with this little cutie right over here. You know, she was barking at the door as she is uh, occasional to do when she hears something out in the hallway. Uh, and sometimes my reaction like it was today was to somehow think that yelling at her was going to make the noise go down and uh, calm her down. But all it does is make her bark more. I'm contributing to the problem. The very problem that I am bothered by, I am contributing to by yelling at her. <laughs> Got to do a better job of reining that in. And you know, the other thing I was thinking about just at work, you know, not making the thing the, the problem worse. I think we all have frustrations, you know, on the job, doing our thing, and you know, it's easy to blame other people. Think it's other people who need to do do a better job, other people who need to communicate clear, other people. Uh, who don't know what they're doing when reality we usually have something to do with that thinking we have nothing to Learn from in this situation. There's always something to learn from don't compound a bad an already bad situation Anyway, I'm going to get back to this walk right now Hope you all are having a great day Catch you back inside. So this has been day nine. Stop contributing to the problem. That has been our challenge today. If you've been enjoying these videos, again, please leave a, shoot us a like, give us a subscribe, and leave a comment to let us know how you are stopping contributing to the problem and contributing to the common good today. 
We will be back with more of these videos tomorrow. Until then, peace.